Pete Davidson and Kaylee Cuoco are finally bringing us a classic rom-com with a time travel twist. The trailer just came out, and let's just say it has everyone talking. Are you desperate to find out how this messy love story unfolds, and what are the details? Well, you're in the right place because we will be answering all your questions. Keep watching this video to find out all the deets. First up, let's talk about the newly released trailer, the official Meet Cute trailer. For the upcoming romantic comedy starring Kaylee Cuoco and Pete Davidson has been revealed by Peacock. As of September 21st, the film is available for streaming. The footage shows Cuoco Sheila falling in love with Davidson's Gary at first sight. She utilizes utilizes a time machine to solve Gary's troubles and difficulties, while repeatedly reliving their first romantic date night to transform him into her perfect dream man. It appears to be love at first sight, at first, but we quickly learn that it's not fate after all. Later at dinner, Sheila tells Gary that she's from the future. As Gary asks her what she did with her prior self, she wants to know if he believes she's insane. To this, he responds that she is insane, but it's incredibly cute. His opinion quickly changes when he finds Sheila traveled even further back in time than the first date to fix some things to make him more ideal. Moving on, it was inevitable at some point for Kuoko and Davidson to end up in film together. Kaylee Kuoko has established herself as a comedy powerhouse, particularly on television. Most people first met her as the polar opposite of her nerdy neighbors on The Big Bang Theory. Pete Davidson, a Saturday Night Live cast member, has understandably become one of the most well-known figures in the comedy industry. He became a household name as a result of his work on one of the long longest running sketch comedy series of all time. With that kind of popularity, it seemed almost inevitable that the two would wind up in a film together at some point, and now we'll be seeing them in Meet Cute, a fantastic romantic comedy. This is not to be confused with the similar titled 2017 SNL digital short starring Davidson and Kristen Stewart. Meet Cute stars Kuoko as Sheila, a New York native who discovers a unique tanning bed that may transport her back in time. Despite the seemingly endless possibilities, she opts for a more personal time-bending quest to reconnect with her soul partner. Sheila believes she has been given an excellent opportunity to rekindle Gary's fading flame of love. She does this despite June, the tanning bed's owner, warning her that changing past aspects could have grave ramifications for the future. Following up, the film is an entry into the time loop love story genre. It's another film in the surprisingly popular time loop love story genre, which is a collection of flicks that never get old. The way we as viewers view feature films has become old. We used to have to go to the theater for anything 90 minutes or more, but things have gotten more straightforward and more convoluted in the streaming era. It might be difficult to tell whether a movie is showing entirely in a theater, exclusively on streaming, or in some situations, both. Coming up, where and when can you watch Meet Cute? The time-traveling rom-com will be completely exclusive to Peacock subscribers and will be accessible to stream in its entirety as early as September 21st, 2022. If you only have the free tier of Peacock or are a new subscriber seeking to join the streamer, now is the time to do it. Not to mention, the actors have a Meet Cute in new images and other details. The new photos put Kuoko and Davidson in the spotlight, taking viewers on a romantic journey with the couple. The photographs mostly depict the two on probably different occasions, both taking place in the evening. Scenic backgrounds accompany them, ranging from bigger landmarks to illuminated streets. While the images reveal little about the plot, they do suggest a film that will be visually appealing to audiences. Noga Nuelli, who makes her feature screenwriting debut with Meet Cute, wrote the screenplay, which was directed by Alex Lehman. Producers include Akiva Goldsman, Rachel Resnick Wisenberg, Gregory Lessons, Santosh Govindaraju, and Dan Reardon, as well as Weed Road Pictures. Oko, Davidson, and others serve as executive producers. Let's talk about the first reviews for the movie. According to The Guardian, as hard as Kuoko and Davidson strive for chemistry, and Kuoko appears to be genuinely trying, this umpteenth Groundhog Day time loop is more annoying than endearing. It's a downward spiral of painfully performed neuroticism that leads to an almost unjustifiable conclusion. The Chicago Sun-Times, on the other hand, wrote that, here we go again with the Peacock film Meet Cute. But the good news is that screenwriter Noah Olga Nuelli, director Alex Lehman, and lead actors Kaylee Kuoko and Pete Davidson have combined their talents to deliver a smart, funny, and at times truly powerful story. So, it appears that we're getting mixed reviews. You can go ahead and stream the movie to decide accordingly. Lastly, Alex Lehman talks about Meet Cute and directing Kaylee and Pete. Alex enjoys the idea that the audience believes they are being whisked away on a romantic date night, but then it goes in different directions. He likes the idea of hiding the Brussels sprouts in the mashed potatoes as a filmmaker. He didn't have a complete picture of how Gary worked on the page, but casting Pete was the key to unlocking it for him.
for him. And then there's Kaylee, who can do it all and has incredible comedic timing. He went on to say that Kuoko and Davidson's silliness occurred not only on screen, but also during the filming process. So it was a perfect match. Now, on to some other news. First off, Saoirse Ronan is to star in Steve McQueen's Blitz. Saoirse Ronan, a four-time Oscar nominee, will join the cast of Steve McQueen's next Apple original film, Blitz. McQueen will write, direct, and produce the film, which will recount the experiences of Londoners during World War II's Blitz. Filming is set to begin later this year. McQueen's Llamas Park produces alongside working titles films Tim Bevan and Eric Fellner, as well as Arnon Milkan, Yariv Milkan, and Michael Schaefer from New Regency. This brings McQueen back to New Regency, where he worked on the Best Picture Oscar winner 12 Years a Slave and the 2018 film Widows. Under his first look arrangement, New Regency developed and packaged Blitz. The film adds another high-profile feature with potential for awards to Apple's production schedule, making Blitz such a big target when it first came out. McQueen's return to feature filmmaking follows his famous anthology series Small Axe, which chronicled the lives of West Indian immigrants in London and won five BAFTAs. He also made three films for BBC and Amazon, including Black Power, a British story of resistance, Subnormal, a British scandal, and Uprising. Up next, Fantastic Four, Jeff Kaplan and Ian Springer write the new movie script. According to sources, Jeff Kaplan and Ian Springer have been picked to write the story for Fantastic Four, the highly anticipated MCU adaptation of Marvel's original superfamily. The writing team will collaborate with director Matt Shackman to bring Mr. Fantastic, The Invisible Woman, The Human Torch, and and the Thing to life in a film produced by Marvel Studios executive producer Kevin Feige. Despite their lack of Hollywood expertise, Kaplan and Springer are currently attached to Warner Brothers' high-profile project Disaster Wedding. While it may appear strange that Marvel Studios would hand over control of one of its most important projects to newcomers, Kaplan and Springer could bring a fresh perspective to the franchise. They don't have a style that is so rigid that it cannot be molded to fit the MCU guidelines. So, while it's too early to tell where Kaplan Kaplan and Springer will take the Fantastic Four. We can already anticipate they'll fare better than prior cinematic portrayals of the family. And finally, the feminist inspiration behind Don't Worry Darling. Betty Friedan's The Feminine Mystique, published in 1963, forever transformed the cultural landscape. The book is credited with igniting second-wave feminism by examining the problem without a name, a residual sense of unhappiness that pervaded women's roles as mothers and wives. Though Friedan was completely dedicated to her obligations at home. She, like many other housewives in mid-century suburbia, felt suffocated by the lack of intellectual stimulation. Don't Worry Darling, a new film directed by Olivia Wilde, examines the challenges presented by the feminine mystique through the eyes of Alice. She is a 1950s housewife who lives with her husband Jack in an idyllic California community. Alice first enjoys the suburban serenity that the Victory neighborhood provides, but she soon begins to question the town's rigidity and seclusion, which restricts all women to a regimented schedule while their husbands toil away on the Mystery Victory Project. Wilde described the film as the feminine mystique on acid in an interview with Vogue. That's a wrap on this video. What are your thoughts on the Meet Cute trailer? Are you excited about it? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.